going on? Welcome back to Unique Cut. This is episode two. We interviewing my boss, the man that helped me get to where I'm at right now, Mikey of NY Styles. We also got his client, Sick Vic. You might know him from YouTube. They're gonna be answering a couple of my questions so like get the gist of like everything. So here we go. Mike the Barber, my boss, hey, what's up? owner of my Styles Barbershop, I got his client, Woo! Vic, you should know him from YouTube, Sig Vic Dugos. Yeah. Um, I got a couple questions, like usual for the show, again this is episode two, here we go. So Mikey, in your opinion, like what made you, like, out of everything like you've done, like a kid or whatever, decide to be a barber, like what was the one thing that made you become a barber? That's a multi-layered question. Uh, I first learned how to cut hair on accident. Uh, somebody came up to me one day and asked me if I could edge him up at my house, get him ready to run out and do something. I was like, yeah, no problem. I hit their neck with the razor. That turned into shaving him with the razor. Then a week later, it turned into him asking for another one. Then two weeks after that, they asked me to give me a haircut. And that's the end of that story, now I cut hair. <laughs> <laughs> Vic, um, what made you choose Mikey as your barber? Like, how long, oh. like, how long has Mikey been your barber, and why? Well, because we were like friends in high school, and we were best buds, we hung out and stuff. So, um, I heard he was a barber, and like, I remember him from school. He's like, yeah, I'm, I've been cutting hair now. I'm, I work at um, NYS, um, whatever it's up the place, and I was like, oh snap, I'm about to go down now. I'm, I'm gonna get a cut. Then I went and got a cut. I was like, well, this is pretty cool. And I was just hanging out. I'm like, oh, could I get a cut? And then I used to go to his house, too. He used to live um, up on his house, and I used to go to his house. He used to cut it in his house. We used to watch like videos and stuff, mess around. And the good do days. Do some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make fun of people. All right. Um, Mike, what is your favorite part of a haircut? Like, what part is edge up? Like, Other than the pay. <laughs> uh, I would say the edge up. You can give a good fade, but when you give a great edge up, man, that just it just pops off. It just sets it off. It's like buying a beautiful car and then putting some rims on it. That's that's it right there. A fresh, tight edge up, coupled with a good fade, is a, a recipe for success. Vic, yeah. how are you feeling? What's yeah. your favorite part? Like, yeah, I think the edge up is um, pretty pretty um, good because like you can see even if you're, you know you don't really even get a cut. You get an edge up, you look just that sharp look, that you know, like that pimp sharp look, and you just like, yeah, you just feel good. Like you can just walk up to a girl and be like, damn, boo, let me get your number, and boom, it's over. It's that easy. All right, all right. Yeah. Who's <laughs> <laughs> on point like a tight edge up, man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tight edge up's where it's at. You gotta be, you know, careful, make sure everything's in line. Um, Mikey, when you're like, what do you gotta say to people who look down on our profession? Well, I mean, a lot of haters out there. Today is a little different than it used to be, and the way that people looked at barbers back in the day, barbers were scholars, doctors, surgeons, prominent dentists, um, and they cut hair on the side to supplement their income. Uh, I think that most people who look at barbers as less than a job should look into the fact that the average barber makes more than the average college graduate. And the service in which that we're providing for the community, I'm with people on their best moments of their life. When they're taking pictures with their kids for their birthdays, when they're getting married, when they're going on their honeymoon, when they're gonna to propose to their wife, I can give them something special to help boost their confidence or heighten that emotion or that experience for them. So I look at it like they don't, understand what it is to be a barber so I can't get mad at him, but give him a good haircut and they'll know what it is to have a good barber. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of hate and people think weird stuff about barbers. Yeah, I mean, barber is where it's at. You can't um, not have a haircut. If you go and not have a haircut, you have like an afro puff and then you go, to get, you go in and get a job and you go to like an interview, then you're just gonna get, you know, it's gonna be next. You know, everyone everyone has to get a cut, at least, um, 
once or twice a month. It's just it's just um, a business, yeah, mandatory business, sort of like um, the food business. You know, yeah. everyone has to eat. Everyone has to, get um, feed. you know, got to get a paid. Yeah, my man, that's <laughs> a um, fact. Though. That is a yeah. fact. If Vic, if you had to tell somebody who's looking for like a barber, like what would you tell them, like specifically, like to look for in their barber? Oh, um, what exactly or who or no, like I would what say, exactly in a cut? Oh. I would say someone who can give good fades, who doesn't leave a line, like, you know, someone who could do good edge ups, make sure, you know, and make sure it's like a real barber shop, not like, um, you know, like one of those lemon tree cuts yeah, or whatnot. Uh, you know? That's a good point. That's a yeah. good point. That's a good point. Most people make the mistake of just going to a lemon tree or a, uh, any type super of small, cuts. super cuss franchise yeah. barber shop and don't realize you can't, you can't bottle up and, and package the quality of a unique handcrafted cut from a professional and put it into a big box brand like a lemon tree or a super cuts or something of that nature. You, you have to, you know, really dig deep to find a quality barber. Yeah, that was uh, another point I wanted to ask you, Mike. Like, what's the difference between like a barber shop and like one of those big chain like salons like in your opinion? Like, like, um, a big chain doesn't have to give good haircuts. A big chain markets and promotes and they look for the one-time customer and they promote and market it so well that they can get a million one-time customers a week. Uh, a real barbershop values and appreciates the business of, of their clients and they want them to come back and they focus the time and energy to give them a good quality haircut to not only sit them in a the chair and give them a five minute haircut and take their money, they, they give them an entire experience from sitting down to you know, getting their haircut, they end up deciding what they want to do and to finish them up. So, I mean, you can't really compare with somebody who barbers in a barbershop to uh, somebody who just cuts hair. It's two different things. Yeah, yeah that's a fact. All right, we're going to get into Vic's cut. And we got Mike the barber doing it. My boss, he's going to finesse this. Stay tuned for part two. <laughs> the skin fade. <laughs> Alright, so that was Mikey and Sig Vic. You got to see Mikey doing his thing, lacing Sig Vic up. Hopefully they answered a couple questions for you. They got to like, help you understand a little bit better. And just and hope you enjoyed it.
So, if you like this show, like this episode, hit the subscribe button, like button. Thank you. I hope to see you again.